This is a quick overview of what a maximal flow model is and how it can be used. Basically, a maximal flow model is used to understand how what the maximum amount is of anything that can flow from point A to point B um, across some network. So the simplest version of this would be just two points and one line connecting them saying, hey, this is the network they're going over. And we say from A to B, there can be 10. Um, in this case, let's just say cars from going from point A to point B and going from B to A, maybe just one car. Um, these networks, this is a very simple version of the network. The networks can get a lot more complex. You may have point A here, point B here, and in between there's one, two, three, four, five, six points which are all connected in a network. And these lines here just represent which nodes can um, which direction you can go to connect from one node to the other and then the numbers next to them so a 10 here is the amount of whatever item you're modeling going can go from how much how much of that can go from point A to point 1 and um, then up here if we put a number here say 3 this would mean that 3 um, in this case cars from point one to point A. And in these models you always have an entry point and an exit point and everything going in has to come out uh, and you just want to figure out what is the maximum flow that you can have. Um, that's a very quick overview of it. Th these can be used to model any kind of network like say waterworks, um, the transportation network, cars, buses, whatever, trains. Um, you could model uh, a data network like the internet. Just anything that has a fixed capacity between certain points uh, the, and there's a network that connects everything and you're trying to figure out what's the maximum amount of throughput you can get.